friends, it's T-Man, and we're going to do another video on Jason Blaha. This one is not a client, but on Jason himself. Yes. Wow, look at him. Wow. He's looking like an aesthetic god. Oh, okay. So, uh, yeah, the uh, gym lifting recruiting fitness slave himself. Uh, Blaha says a booster testosterone. Okay, well, let's see. We're going to do a reaction video to this. Blaha says focusing on our overall health and fitness instead of testosterone focusing on our overall health and fitness well just fitness makes you makes you good at doing this overall health is what you consume okay stop worrying about your testosterone level and just worry about your general health and fitness hey everybody it's jason stop worrying about your testosterone general fitness getting good at being a lifting slave okay yes blaha Jason Blaha here, and I thought I would uh, uh, chat with you guys and gals, I suppose, about this. This is one of these things that the... He's got a very nice cosmetic look from uh, the steroids that he uses. He's on TRT, right? I don't know if this is doctor prescribed or whatever. He's an unnatural being anyways. It doesn't really matter. He's on plant, plant genetics, and now he's lifting, lifting, taking them, okay? The industry keeps people obsessed with 24-7 is this idea that men need to worry about their testosterone levels all the time. It's like, we have to optimize tests. We have to do, and it's like, here's, here's the reality, okay? Nothing you do with your lifestyle is going to optimize your testosterone. Man, that's a funny thing too. I have to agree with him on some of these things about testosterone because, man, people are really obsessed. They're stupid. Without the addition of nuclei, it doesn't matter how much testosterone you have. You're not going to build any real muscle, but you will build sarcoplasmic muscle because you'll draw more glycogen into the muscle when your testosterone ra is raised because you're an endurance athlete. If you don't understand the difference between what is endurance Look, man, as real bodybuilders, we're, we should be periodically lifting because our focus should be on trying to damage the muscle fiber so that we can build it bigger and stronger. But if you're lifting consistently in the gym, you're an endurance athlete. You understand me? You're adapted. So you're an endurance athlete. You're adapted to your exercises, adapted to the weights. You are an endurance athlete. See what I mean? And in, in, in fact, you're crashing your testosterone because endurance athletes know, in fact, they crash, their, their testosterone's crashed. It may raise because you're lifting a weight. You're trying to lift a heavy weight now in the gym. It'll raise, and but then it'll crash because you're an endurance athlete. That's what happens. Your own levels other than just improving your health. But it's not going to, it's not going to build you it's not going to damage your muscles for you and build them bigger and stronger. That's something you're going to have to do. Testosterone doesn't do it for you. It doesn't have special powers, okay? You understand me? But it will build you sarcoplasmic muscles, though, because you're eating carbs. And if you're eating carbs, it'll load it in the muscle. Fitness. In other words, uh, unless you are ready to go see a medical doctor and get a prescription for some sort of pharmaceutical, uh, whether it is directly testosterone or uh, something like HCG and, and yeah. clomid and stuff together that boosts your testosterone. Yeah, these are boosting. Yeah, they're going to boost your testosterone artificially. And then you can load more glycogen in the muscle. Yeah, HCG, uh, clomide, yeah, clomiphen. Okay, yeah. Through your doctor, which again is still a form of TRT, unless this is what you plan on doing, this is you and this unless this is what you plan on doing unless this is your plan you need to just stop worrying about your testosterone yes what's the plan what is the plan because there is nothing nothing short of that that you can do that will boost it unless you just have really bad health and it, the low testosterone is a side effect of your bad health okay so in other words all these people are like we're going to do this type of fat or we need this supplement or this or that to optimize and it's not none of that is going to make one shred of difference and even if it did 
it would be such minor benefits that it wouldn't be worth worrying about. Like even some of these studies that have been in-house studies they've done on any of these test boosters, none of them uh, are anything particularly impressive, even when it's completely biased research, right? Uh, like done in-house on someone with low testosterone. Like you guys remember when Lobliner did his? And the guy finished, he did a single person in-house who had low testosterone, and apparently he saw a small boost, and he was still clinically low. Okay, the net result was the guy still needed to get on TRT if you looked at the blood work and looked at the numbers. The guy medically qualified for medical intervention even after taking the supplement. Hey, come on, right? And any of them that have ever worked in these small studies that do, the independent studies later don't, but anytime they boost anything, it's always people who have something going on like overtrained cyclist or, or a guy like that who's clinically low and he still finished clinically low. Like it, it, it still didn't make enough of a difference to matter. Um, and guys get obsessed over these little small changes. Now the reality is uh, when you look at it, it's, it's just simply poor health that causes people to have low testosterone. Okay. Poor health, yeah. They're eating artificial food. That's what's causing them to have low testosterone. It's not, I need to raise my testosterone. You want your testosterone to go back to normal. If you stop doing those things that are causing your testosterone to be low, then you'll be fine. Yeah, I'd have to agree with him. When we look at the, the data, the experts generally agree the number one cause of low testosterone in Western males is obesity. No, it's artificial diet. O obesity would be one of them, but artificial diet, the food you're eating, what, what, what made you obese? What made you obese? <laughs> you're not a ruminant. Here's the thing. We have talked about this before. You're not a ruminant animal. That's why you're obese. You understand me? You're obese because you're not ruminant. So you eat these, these uh, fake carbohydrate, these plants, you eat them, and then they ferment in your stomach and you release gases and all kinds of stuff and you have inflammation because you're not ruminant, because you're not an omnivore. If you were an omnivore, you would, I don't know, you would do these things, but you're not, but whatever. I mean, if you were a car, sorry, an omnivore, you're not, a, or whatever the fuck. Plant eater. Herbivore, you're not a herbivore, okay? You're, you're a carnivore. You're a carnivore, and that's why. That's why. Let's say the same go. The same goes with like, uh, what is it? Uh, pork or pigs? Same thing. They're not ruminant. That's why they're so fat. They're so fat because they're not ruminant. Okay. Let's step back and think about why aren't why aren't cows massively fat? They're not massively fat. They have some fat, but they're not fat. It's, it's meat. It's all muscle. It's all meat. Yeah. Why? Because they're ruminant. So why do humans get extremely obese, fat? Because they eat these, these artificial foods, these, these plants, and they're not ruminant. <laughs> so they get fat. The number one cause, the leading cause, and this is the prevailing scientific thought, is obesity. Yeah, but how did you get obese? By eating what? Fake food, an artificial diet. <clears throat> That's how you got obese. You understand me? You ate plants. You tried eating what the cow eats. The cows are not getting fat. Why are you getting fat? Goats aren't getting fat. Sheep aren't getting fat. They're ruminant animals. Why aren't they getting fat? Because they're ruminant. They eat these plants, they eat plants, and they're ruminant. But why are you getting fat as a human? Because you're not ruminant. And you're not supposed to be eating plants because you're a carnivore. Duh. That's how I prove, that's how I can prove you're a carnivore. We're too fat. It's disrupting our hormones. Okay. Yeah, eating plants is disrupting your hormones. Yes, yes, I would agree. And it's and it's making you fat. Yeah. But if we are seeing clinically low testosterone in men because they're too fat, what else are we seeing? We're probably seeing all sorts of other negative health effects, okay? All right, what are some of the others that are considered things like microplastics, environmental toxins? Like I'd say, like, like uh, um, 
Simon said, you're not very harmonious. You're not very harmonious. <laughs> you're out of homostasis, man. You understand me? Being sedentary, right? But step back and think about some of those for a minute. How much of those overlap? Nobody's ever sedentary. Everybody gets up. They don't just lay in bed and never get up, dude. And contribute. All right, environmental toxins and microplastics, possibly that's going to be a little different. But you can't do well, it. That's something you definitely in the environment. Yeah. Think about that. Like that's literally one of those that uh, unless we find some way to completely clean the earth up, top to bottom, the oceans and everything. Don't worry. The planet is cleaning itself up of these things. Trust me. It's all in-house, dude. It's all in-house. Which we can't do right now. Uh, you can't do it. The oceans and everything, which we can't do right now. Our problem is we keep making these artificial farms, which are going to cause desertification. Desert desertification, yes. So the fancy word for deserts, we're creating deserts. Look at, look at all the other civilizations that's come before us. The same thing. You think that that was a desert? People lived in a desert? What the hell happened here? Shit, man. I don't know what happened here, dude. That thing popped up. You think we live in a desert, dude? What the fuck? Hold on a second. Sorry about that. Uh, you like I said, um, these 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 civilizations like uh, what is it Egypt? You think they lived in the they built these pyramids and all these fancy things in a desert? Well, you're like yeah, but it's a desert. Why would they build it in a desert? Why would anybody live in a desert? <laughs> Look, they built they built a, a city like uh, what is it Las Vegas in a desert because there's nothing there to attract people to 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 gamble. There's nothing really there. You can't survive in a desert. There's nothing there. You can't plant anything. Nothing grows, right? Animals, there's, there's no animals there. They're not eating anything. Now, if you want to turn deserts into uh, lush lands, what do you need? Animals. Animals will create, will create the land. Yeah. They'll create it. Yeah. It's a cycle. That's how it works. But what happened was the Egyptians... They were stupid. They, they, they started farming. They ate the animals and uh, they're stupid. They ate the animals and then they started farming. And then when they farmed, they depleted the land. They depleted the land and they ate artificial food, which killed them, like bread, slave food. They started making slave food. Bunch of, they started doing a bunch of weird stuff because they got addicted to making wine and alcohol, beer and wine. <laughs> they, loved doing, they loved having all these weird parties and doing weird shit. Yeah can't do anything about it okay we are going to destroy the planet make it into a desert soon animals are important we need the animals to roam to create uh plants and things grass so worrying about that is a waste of time okay but start looking at the other factors well we know alcohol consumption but doesn't alcohol consumption contribute to obesity and other things is it alcohol artificial? It's fake. Why drink something? It's fake. It doesn't exist in nature, alcohol. You're also right. Uh, we know that there's correlations with that. We know that uh, a, a lot of the factors involved with, with alcohol absolutely can contribute to obesity. Excess calories, making you... Obesogens as well, these chemicals, they contribute obesogens, apparently, I don't know. Yeah, alcohol, a bunch of stuff. Why the alcohol? I don't know. Because there's sugar in it. You're lethargic, making you depressed. Okay. Certain recreational drugs, but it's the same thing. There, there's all this overlap. Okay, a lot of these things overlap with what? Certain recreational drugs. Yes, blah. -ha. Being sedentary. Yes. Overeating. Yes. Okay. See where we're going with this? I see where you're going. Yes, Blaha. It all ties back in together. It all ties back in together. Other than the environmental toxins, it's not taking care of yourself, putting 
additional poisonous chemicals into your body for recreational purposes, which in turn okay, yeah. contribute to lower inhibitions, overeating, yeah. laziness, depression. Okay. Well, aren't those the same factors that contribute to obesity and poor health also? They're factors. Okay? Those are all factors. Now, the reality, what tends to contribute to, to good testosterone levels? A good balanced diet? Exercise? Lifting? Uh, yeah, not exercising will, will definitely contribute to having uh, good testosterone levels. Not, not stressing yourself, that's for sure. Doing these stressful things, whatever you're doing there. And eating uh, food that stresses your body, like um, artificial food, these carbo carbohydrates, these drugs. Yeah. Weights. The diet with. Lifting weights crashes your testosterone, huh? That's what happens. It lowers it. You know, with healthy fats, with healthy carbohydrates, a diet that doesn't have deficiencies, okay? Yeah. And because we. You artificially raise it by lifting these weights, right? All right, and then it crashes when you stop lifting. Yeah. Start talking about endocrine system disruption. Dietary deficiencies don't just contribute to, to testosterone. They contribute to everything. Like I've had people say, well, this part of a person's diet, uh, this has been known to, to raise test, lower testosterone and raise estrogen, and it'll be something that actually lowers estrogen also. It'll be something that lowers thyroid hormone also. You, you see the problem? Poor diet and poor nutrition lower all the hormones in your body. They cause all sorts of problems. Poor diet, poor nutrition. Well, that's one aspect. If you're eating fake food, yeah, like Blaha. This, uh, his basket there, it's like the food stamp basket, dude. It's really poor. It's for, like, slaves. Okay. Real slave food. That's why he takes TRT. Why do you think Blaha's on steroids? Because of all these problems, yeah not just testosterone you start looking at it, it's like oh man this affects this hormone and this hormone and this hormone and this hormone and this one down the road okay it's not about testosterone it's about just having bad health having a bad diet being sedentary being a there's nobody that's sedentary out there what is sedentary to you being a normal person walking eating doing certain things what are you talking about blaha hunting hunting you're not sedentary hunting obese okay these are the factors and so that's what i'm saying again they're obese because they're eating artificial food they're eating plants and you're not ruminant that's why you're getting fat Suggesting is that the, the testosterone is not the issue. The testosterone is just usually a side effect. It is one of the dozens of side effects of having a poor quality lifestyle. And if you just focus on your health and fitness, all of these things are going to improve. Not just this one hormone. And just because bodybuilders and athletes use testosterone derivatives in huge amounts and get muscle gain and everything from it, doesn't mean that because your levels fluctuate and optimize a little in the normal range, that it's going to do the same thing. This is an enormous misconception. And so again, what I'm telling people, they're, they're missing the forest for the trees in this case. When what we should be looking at is are we just fit and healthy across the board? Okay? Rather than looking at this one individual tiny factor in the grand scheme of things, we need to be looking at the big picture with our overall health and fitness and activity and nutrition and body composition. All right, guys, but that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative, and I'll talk to you guys and gals next time. He's really trying to sell you on this, but okay, whatever. I'll see you in the next one, friends. Tell us what you think about that. Like, subscribe, support the channel. He's the most unhealthiest person I know. Blah. That's why he's so aged. 85. Going on 100. See you later, man.